Dennis Hopper here, is here tonight. He's one hell of a good actor. And a lot of people thought that uh, Dennis would kind of just uh, burn out and fade away. In truth, he's one of the busiest actors in town, and he seems to go from one critically acclaimed role to another. Would you welcome, please, Dennis Hopper? <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We haven't had really had a chance to talk. I'm, I'm a great admirer of yours. You, you did a thing that was just on a week ago called Double Crossed, mm. where you played um, Barry Seal, who at one time was a drug runner in and out of countries and then turned informant for the government, right? right? Yeah. Fascinating role, all based on... It was a true story, yeah. Yeah, he was an amazing man. Uh, it's a much more complicated story than you could obviously, obviously tell on television, but... Uh... I was great. It was fun doing it. Yeah. I was in more airplanes. Yeah. Did you fly at all? No, but uh, it was great. Yeah. I really had a good time. There were planes I were in, uh, that I was in that should never, never fly. I mean, <laughs> they had no instrument panels, but we took them up. Yeah. You, uh, you it was fun. And another thing you did uh, a year ago, a thing called uh, with Barbara Hershey called Paris Trout. Paris right? Trout. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah. See. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I got nominated. I'm yeah. up, up for an Emmy. Yeah. You always you like those kind of offbeat roles a little bit, right? I like them. I get them. You yeah, know? Let me read you. <laughs> let me, now, let me read you a quote. I want to see if you said this. In Blue Velvet, in which he was a... Um, <laughs> he played a uh, by named Frank Booth, who was a murderer, a maimer, drug dealer, beer-guzzling, psychopath sadist who tortures and humiliates a nightclub singer for his sexual pleasure. The story was that uh, you called up director David Lynch and said, I am Frank. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd stop drinking and taking drugs at the time, <laughs> which is really weird. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know how to explain that. I, I, uh, I loved that part. I loved it. Yeah, I understood the part. I, 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 don't know how to, right. I don't know how to get out of that one. You've had a kind of a... <laughs> you've had kind of a... We don't know each other well, but you've had kind of a crazy up and down uh, yeah, career it's been in a really, way. Yeah, been really insane. I'll tell you something, though. I saw you give a speech one night. It's one of the most memorable things I've ever, ever witnessed. Of anybody. It was at Wasserman. I can't remember whether it was Wasserman's 50th year. Lou Wasserman, 50 years at, uh, at MCA. MCA. Yeah. That was amazing. I mean, you kidding. just blew me apart with that. I mean, I, I really, I was amazed at, at, at you. Well, I was yeah. just out doing some jokes and stuff oh, like boy, that. Oh, boy, no, it was great. It yeah. was a great speech. Well, we got to get together more often. <laughs> <laughs> Were you there that night? No, no it was I wonderful. Well, that's right. It was nice really wonderful. Was... I came over to thank you, and you were very shy yeah. and sort of... Uh, couldn't accept, uh, you know, the thanks. And, and George Burns was sitting at your table. That's right. And I went over to George Burns, and I said, I want to tell you how I admire you, and I've never met you, and so on. He said, kid, are you, uh, this is about a year or two ago. <laughs> he said, kid, I said, are you in the business? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and he said, are you going to stay in the business? And I said, yes, sir, I think so. And he said, me too. <laughs> <laughs> only 94 at the time, yeah, or 93. Right. Yeah, great, um, great. Yeah. How did you get into acting? Um, well, I was a farm boy from Kansas, and I wanted to know where the trains were going. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You Some, just something like got that. the hell out of here. Just wanted to sign to leave the Midwest? Yeah. It was, uh, I, moved, I was in the Dust Bowl, the same period, you know, that period of time. Yes. You were around there. Yeah. You know? And movies, uh, it was a great light in a dark theater, and uh, that, was, uh, that was my first real uh, contact with the outside. Did you ever have any formal training? Anybody in the family at all in the uh, no, entertainment business? In no. But I, I later studied with Strasburg in New York, and he was a great teacher. And I was very fortunate. I started acting at the Old Globe Theater in San Diego. Yeah. And uh, doing Shakespeare there. And then uh, I came up here and went into contract with Warner Brothers when I was 18, did Rebel Without a Cause and Giant. Yeah. With James Dean. And then he died. Then I went to New York and studied for five years at Strasburg. And That's what the so-called method acting is. Yeah, that, method, I guess. Yeah. Method. I think a lot of people have a misconception of that. I'm yeah. not sure exactly. Well, method is just a way of working, you know. Yeah. And uh, you use it if you get in trouble. Strasberg uh, taught through the senses: the smell, the seeing, taste, touch, right. hearing. And if you can use those, uh, that controls your brain. In other words, if I'm burnt with a cigarette, it goes up here and says you're being burnt here, right. and so on. So by Doing sense memories, we could then do emotional memories right. by uh, recalling recalling a, an emotion. Yeah, George Burns. I remember one night when he, I think he'd just done Oh God or something, talking about acting, yeah, and great. Burns said, he says it's quite easy. He said if you're out in the hall and you knock on the door and somebody says come in, and you don't go in, he says you're a bad actor. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there you, go. You, you respond to what yeah. you respond to what the person is saying, and uh, rather than waiting for your next Absolutely. line, right? Absolutely. Now you did. It, when was Easy Rider? At Easy 69? Rider was uh, yeah. We shot it in '67, edited in '68, came out in '69. Now that's when you gave Jack Nicholson. That was the first thing that brought Jack Nicholson to really to prominence, wasn't it? That, yeah. that first yeah. role. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does he ever thank you for that? Well, he takes me to the Laker games, you know, games <laughs> you know, which I, I want to stay with that, you know, that's all. I haven't worked with him since, but uh, Jack's great. Yeah. Jack's a terrific guy. He's a great storyteller, and uh, he's a wonderful man. He's having another baby. That's what I read the, yeah, the other day. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Now, this, this uh, you, you took this picture, right? Yeah, it's Sean. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Sean Penn. Yeah. Now, a lot of people would say, how'd you, get, how'd you get him to pose for a picture? Because his reputation with people who yeah. take photographs is not exactly you know, a quiet one. Yeah, Good picture, is, though. This is interview. It's coming out this month. Right. And, uh, yeah. Well, Julian Schnabel is an artist, and he did the article. And he wanted to take Sean's picture. And Sean said, no, I have my own photographer. And uh, then Julian called me and said, you directed him in colors. Right. You asked him if I can take his picture, and said, like, Julian, he really has a problem having his picture taken. You know, he beats people up when they take his picture, so on. He said, yeah, but if you ask him and you take his picture, he can't deny you. So I right. called Sean up, and I said, Sean, I, you know. He said, well, you're the one guy that I'll let take my picture, so there it is. Yeah. What is, what is he's that? a great guy, Sean. Yeah. In fact, he's going to be with us. In September. And in I'll tell you, he's September. directed a movie that is the best first film I've ever seen. And I'll right. throw Easy Rider into that, too, really? which is my film. Sean has directed a film called Indian Runner, and it is sensational. Good. I have one little scene in it. Charles Bronson has a couple little scenes in it. But Sean has directed really? this movie, and he's it's, an it's really wonderful. He's an intense man, isn't he? It's wonderful. And he did it in Omaha. Is that right? Nebraska, and you're from Omaha. You betcha. Yeah. He used to work in Omaha. Yeah. Hey, he's intense. Yeah. I can see where you two would get along well yeah. together. He's a good guy. Let me take a break. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> 